Hi, I'm John Waterhouse, and this is Weekday Wisdom, our first submission for the new year. So happy new year, happy 2021. My question for you today is, what are you putting into your new year? Most people on our planet think that life is happening to us. Those that perceive life this way tend to take defensive postures, believing that uh, they have to deal with the challenges that life throws their way as though they were intruders into their lives. The rest of us know that life is happening through us, but even the ones that have this down the best can fall prey to uh, a challenge in life that we're not prepared for. But the truth is, is that everything that we face is of our own making. Not that we're out to get ourselves, but that life is reflecting back to us, our thoughts and our feelings. And that's what creates our experiences. It all comes through our consciousness. So if you believe this, as I do, then you may be open to some ideas that could help avoid experiences before they're ever created. My first suggestion is that we celebrate whenever and wherever we can. By this, I mean being happy for people who are successful even and especially when they're more successful than we are. By honestly celebrating the successes of others, we open the door to possibilities of having equal and even greater success in our own lives. If you learn that someone you know is in a new relationship, be happy for them, whether you're in a meaningful relationship or not. If someone know, uh, you know is getting a raise, do the same thing, celebrate with them. Even if you're, you haven't gotten a raise and could use one, if someone accomplishes something important and is being praised by colleagues and friends, join in. When we affirm the well-being of others, we're actually creating greater potential for experiencing similar blessings in our own lives. Dr. Ernest Holmes, the founder of Science of Mind, uh, called this developing mental equivalence. If you have a challenge before you and you don't know what to do, the solution could be easy. Just claim the answer. All information is available to us, as it is to everyone. The difference is in knowing that there is an answer and claiming it for ourselves. Some people take time before going to sleep to clear their minds and release their challenges into the mind of God. Now, that may not sound like doing much, but it is incredibly valuable. What it does is it opens us up to knowing what we think we don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's just that sometimes we don't remember that we have access to all knowledge exactly at the time that we're ready and willing to have it. Whenever we're faced with an unknown, the way we access that information is by opening our minds and letting our intuition do its work, provide the answer. <clears throat> Whenever we think we don't know something, our intuition cannot help us overcome our lack of sense. We have to be open to it. We have to open our minds. We have to know that there's an answer. And we have to claim that answer for ourselves. It's quite amazing how powerful we can be at keeping ourselves stuck and unable to move forward when we don't do this. So the task before us all as we await the end of this COVID pandemic is to make good use of each precious moment. We do this by remembering our divine nature, by monitoring our thoughts, and by living the best, most meaningful life that we can. Dr. Holmes gives us some direction about how to move successfully through life in his book, The Science of Mind. He writes this, think, see, and feel activity. Radiate life. Feel that there is that within you which is at the center and the circumference of all life. The universe is the result of the self-contemplation of God. Our lives are the result of our own self-contemplations and are populated with the personifications of our thoughts and ideas. Accept this without questioning whether it's true or not. Nothing is real unless we make it real. Nothing can touch us unless we let it touch us. Refuse to have the feelings hurt. Refuse to receive any condemnation. In the independence of your own mentality, believe and feel that you are wonderful. 
This is not conceit, it is the truth. What can be more wonderful than the manifestation of infinite mind? The baseline teaching of science of mind is that we are the masters of our own lives. It is through our own thinking and beliefs that our lives take form and contain substance. Once we know and accept that this is true, we can no longer be victims. So when our life looks most challenging and we don't know what to do, the only thing that makes any sense is to go within, identify our divine nature and declare our good. When we do, life works and all is well. And that's because all is God. And with that, I shall know with you that you have a fantastic day.